Hi guys, Ann here, and today we have a car vlog. I always tell you, it is early. It is literally 7.22 a.m. Yeah, and I'm up and driving. We are on, my daughter's in front of me, we are on our way back to close to Atlantic City, New Jersey, to drop her car off. I told you guys, I think I showed you in my last video, the damage. Somebody was doing um left hand, I don't know what happened. The other lady was at fault. Um, I thought it was like minimal damage, but it's over $6,200 worth of, of uh, damage. Um, now we have full coverage, so all, you know, Lexi has to pay is $500, because I've said this before, in New Jersey, we have a no fault. And what that means is you go against your own car insurance, it, no matter if it's your fault or not. Um, I mean, you're screwed if you just have liability. And, um, and then what happens is then, um, my car insurance will go against the other car insurance and then we'll also get our deductible back. That's how it works. Uh, but you have to pay it ahead of time. And, um, so that's that. And then they don't even know if underneath the suspension is, um, messed up until like they lift the car, you know. Oh my God, it's sunny out this early. Probably can't even see me. So that's what we're doing. We're getting Lexi a rental car because my car insurance has rental for um, 30 days. I go later on today, which I might reschedule it. I'm supposed to go to my heart doctor today at two o'clock. Um, but I am scheduled for my, it's called a nuclear stress test and then another echogram. Um, on the 8th, which is Monday morning at 7.15 a.m. So I'm like, I might just reschedule it for a couple days later or what have you. So, we, you know, I don't want to go today and then go next week, you know, I don't know. Um, so we'll see. And that's just to see because you guys, most of you know, um, two years ago, I had a, a minor heart attack. And then um, they did... Uh, the stress tests and all that stuff and they realized that I was my uh the I always say it wrong I, I know it's not called the circumference circumference flex or something like that I always say it wrong it's the artery behind the heart that was 99% blocked but they also see my LAD was blocked like at 40% or something like that um but they only put a stent in if you're 70% or higher so they didn't do anything and that's what they're worried about if that LAD artery, uh, that's what you call the widow maker. And that's because that, that's the silent killer. And I think what scared me and why I was so stressed out is because like the doctor told me before, if that had been 99% blocked and I had a heart attack, then I wouldn't have survived. You have literally four minutes and I wouldn't even had a chance to get on a helicopter. Um, and so that's what scared me. And that's what they're worried about that LAD. If it's any more blocked, you know, um, so that's why we're doing it then. They were supposed to do it when I was admitted in the hospital, but the doctor, my heart doctor, wanted the stress test done, but in the hospital. But the one that was covering for him um, was like, no, um, I don't I don't think so because uh, with your blood pressure being so high and out of control, it'll do a, it'll be a false, you know, like it, it'll come back negative like a positive abnormal and um they didn't want me then because if that happens then what they do is they do the catheterization where they go into my groin they can where they stick a camera up now and it's in your main artery now they can go on your wrist but my arteries are too small so they have to go against my groin and they didn't want to do that and then the test be wrong and because it's your main artery and because i am diabetic and i don't heal correctly you know like heal right or fast you know they didn't want to do that but again he doesn't really know my history where my heart doctor does and he was a little upset you know that it wasn't done but what, what can you do um so that is that but I am feeling a lot better I'm still like not a hundred percent 
but I feel a lot better. I can say that um, when they changed up my medicine and stuff. So, also, they also found out when I had an echo grant, you know, like an ultrasound of the heart in the hospital, that my blood flow is slow. It's not moving correctly in my heart chamber. And I don't have as much oxygen as you're supposed to in the blood in the heart chamber, which that's what was causing that dizziness and um, all that, which can, and, but if that isn't controlled, there's two things that can happen. You can either one, have a heart attack or death. <laughs> so that's another thing. So they, like I said, changed my medicine around and we'll work on that. And that's probably why, and that is due damage from having high blood pressure. Um, so, but you know, hopefully, like I said, I I'm feeling a lot better. I just haven't really been vlogging and I think that's why also like I've been really really out of it like very impulsive like I know a lot of you guys don't see my community posts but just impulsive with some personal things that I'm going through and angry and anger like I said this in a live stream recently and I, I know a lot of people don't get those notifications either like you know my friend Lisa she even asked me she was like are you drinking she thought I was drinking because I was so out of character and I just kept saying I wasn't feeling good and I didn't want to talk to anybody. It just wasn't feeling good. I felt like I was going to pass out. I was always a short of breath. It was just terrible. Um, I only put for the past two months, like what, three to four, maybe five videos. <laughs> like, it was bad. And, um, I, you know, when you don't feel good and everything else, um, and then I also went in protective mode when it came to my daughter, which I'm not going to get into, and just everything, um, I just wasn't myself, so my mind is getting a lot better, I'm getting back to track, um, and, you know, I'm going to start posting more, but I just had to take some time off to deal with my health, you know. So, Saturday is my birthday, I'm going to be 48, which is still young, I mean, it's just my mind feels like I'm in my 20s, you know, not my body, and, uh, I think I'm gonna go live, I'm not sure which channel, my beauty channel or not, for on Saturday, on my birthday, so we can celebrate my birthday together, I think Saturday, I'm not sure when me and Lexi, I gotta see when she has off, we're gonna go to Atlantic City, we're gonna get a room, and we're gonna gamble, well, I just play the slots. I play. I, I don't even know. I haven't been to the casino in so long. I don't even know if they still have the penny and nickel slot. Uh, I usually go to either Caesars um, Casino, the Valley, or the Wild Wild West. Thank you. Um, I'm not sure. I'll let her pick. Uh, because I said this in a live, Lexi was like, we need to go like 1.32 a.m. That's when people hit. I'm like, Lexi, I am not, because we can get to Atlantic City in like 40 minutes. I'm like, Lexi, I am not getting up at like 12 a.m. I, I, I'll be in the bed. So, you know, you know, you know, she's 23. She'll be 24 in a couple months. So like, you know, they're used to like taking a nap and getting up. I mean, I used to do that. Like, you know, leaving, going out to like 10 at night, going to a bar or something like that, you know? Um, so she was like, all right, well, we'll get a room, we'll take a nap, and we'll get up, and then we can go back upstairs and go to sleep. I'm like, all right, I'll do that. So that's what we're going to do, which I'll be vlogging that as well. I know a lot of you guys haven't been to Atlantic City or anything like that, um, or the casino. So when I find out when, I'll let you know when, whenever she has off again. We're going to do that, which I'm excited. And uh, just to spend time with her, you know. If you haven't seen my last live, oh my God. So, Lexi has 14 tattoos, and she got, she had a, like a fairy or something on her, this side of her neck, and then she got another tattoo right here. Now, me and her were talking in the vlog, about an hour in or something like that, we're talking, and as she was leaving, she comes back, she goes, oh, mommy, look, I don't know how I didn't see that, and I literally forgot I was on live for a second. I went into mom mode. I'm like, Lexi, you know, here's the thing. I don't care how many tattoos my, my kids have. I gotta turn this off, it's getting hot in here. I could care less. I always said, don't put any on your neck or your face. I don't care how many piercings you have. Don't like, because you're gonna regret it, you know? And the job that my daughter's in and where she's trying to be, she wants to be a traveling nurse, you know, go all over and all that. She's still going back to school. And it's like, you know, jobs, a lot of jobs don't hire you, especially that type, you know, of job. And 
you can't cover that up. Yeah, you can wear turtlenecks, but what are you going to do in the summertime and stuff? I knew makeup and all that stuff, but my daughter doesn't wear foundation and all that stuff, you know? She's got that natural beauty, you know? She'll wear lip gloss and those fake eyelashes and call it a day, you know? And so I, it wasn't the fact that she got another tattoo. It was where it was placed. And it's like, you're going to regret it. And, you know, I think nowadays a lot of people have tattoos and it's more acceptable than... Um, what it was years ago and I and I and I get that but I just don't want her to regret anything I'm like don't do it don't put no more oh god but I, I at 23 I remember like nobody could tell me nothing either I, I knew everything we all know everything you know what are you gonna do man have you guys seen so I don't watch this too much I want to talk to you guys about this I don't watch it too much uh, what is it? Honey Boo Boo or Mama June? Mama, I don't know what it is. Family Crisis, whatever that is. Mama, Honey Boo Boo. Alana is her name. And then her mom. And it was on YouTube. And then I start like, I so I watched the episode. So all of that money, now that Alana, Honey Boo Boo, is 18 and she's going to college. I think she's 18 or I don't know but anyway she wants to go to college so she's been working since she was six I think she started with that tiara you know when they do the beauty pageant or what have you and then she did her show well I guess the mom was spending it and so Alana thought she had all this money you know thought she had a couple hundred thousand dollars that would pay for her college and everything and come to find out she only had thirty three thousand dollars in a bank and I was like, that is so messed up. Now, I guess she just put it in an account, but didn't do it years ago. And I know for New Jersey, what really pissed me off, and I know a little bit about this, okay? Now, I was in a car accident in 2005, a very bad one, where Isaiah was 12 months old at the time. He broke both of his ankles. He was in the car seats uh, right here in the back of me. Lexi was over here. Lexi was five. So she was in her car seat like a booster seat, of course, with a seatbelt. Well, what happened was when uh, the lady was at a stop sign, I'm going straight. I have the right of way and she makes a left hand turn. We did like a T-bone. I was going like 50 miles an hour, straight impact. I couldn't even get to my brake. I got to my brake and slammed it down, but it did absolutely nothing. Uh, Isaiah got thrown from the car seat. The seat felt like snap. I don't know what happened. And he was still in his car seat, got thrown in the front. So the middle console, his left, legs uh his feet went like this and broke both his ankles he was in the front Lexi I turned back she had blood everywhere where the seatbelt here didn't um lock and so she went up like this and hit right here and broke her nose I see blood everywhere because she's going like this you know whenever you have something like that and um I was hurt really bad. Um, the airbag went out. They said the only thing that stopped me from going through that windshield was my seatbelt. Um, and of course the airbags and stuff. And so Lexi got a lawsuit. We, we all got a lawsuit, but Isaiah got the biggest lawsuit. I mean, he got a lot of money. I'm not going to say how much. I set up a trust fund for him, of course, because they wouldn't give me the money. You can set it up to when they get all the money when they're 18, or I, you can set it up like I did when you're 18, when you're 21, and when you're 25, right? You 18, you get a percentage, 21, and then 25. Now, with a child, with a lawsuit, they only are allowed to take out a quarter. Me, they take out a third, right? Any adult. And here's how it works okay with the trust fund okay you go to the surrogate's office it go you, you, you set a bank and account and it goes for them now i can go in it if i needed it right but how it works is i can't get the cash you have to go request it the judge has to approve it or not approve it okay and if he approves it the money doesn't go to me the money goes to that store so it has to be a store that takes it's like a cashier's check that will take a third party check because that helps because there's so many parents that get into that money. And when the kid turns 18 or what have you, they have no money. Um, and I only went in there once and because Isaiah needed a computer. And like I said, it didn't go to me. It went right to that store. Now, you could, let's say, uh, if you needed a house or uh, uh, let's say the roof needs to be fixed because the kid lives there. Um, but like if I was to get a house and get put a down payment, the house would have to be in his name as well right? Um, which I never did. I don't agree with that. 
So when Isaiah turned 18, you know, he got some money. Uh, I didn't want to do it all when he turned 18 because when you have that type of money, kids, you're not mature enough. You're going to just waste it. Um, I figured he has enough. He wanted to go to college, you know, get his car, all that type of stuff. He has it. But I never even, and, and, and remember, I lived in the projects. I could have went and got a house. And got, I, did, I don't think it's right. That's his money. Even though he doesn't remember any of it because he was 12 months old, he, rem he was in a coma for three days uh, where he hit his head and just the issues that he had. Not, it was induced. Not, they, he, you know, they did it for the pain and all, whatever. It doesn't matter. But I didn't know. So when I get out of the car, let me talk about this car accident for a minute. When I get out of the car, I literally dropped to my knees. I, I didn't realize my kid, like I didn't understand because there was smoke, like everything. I thought my lungs were collapsed. I couldn't talk. I'll never forget his name. Samuel Brown was the witness. He stops. And a minute there, I even forgot my kids were in the car. I wasn't thinking. And I go, my kids, my kids. I was so shaky, I couldn't even open the door. I said, the car seat and my daughter. So my daughter's screaming. Okay, he gets out. she gets out the car. And I'm like, he says, I don't see a car seat here. I'm like, what are you talking about? My son. And so I look. I, I, Isaiah's in the front seat, okay? At first, he, he starts screaming. They called 911 as soon then Isaiah, he just passes out. And I think it was from pain. I thought he was dead. Oh, I don't want to get, oh gosh. It was terrible, terrible. I'll be right back. Lex is going the wrong way because I'm following her. Let me get a hold of her. I'll be back, guys. All right, I got her back on track. I'm like, Lexi, where are you going? She bared off to the right and I'm following. I'm like, that's not the right. We got to go up here. Anyway, um, we're back on track. So, I don't even know what I was saying. I really, she should have been probably following me, but. Um, so anyway, it was a bad car accident. And uh, anytime I see car accidents now, it's like, oh, I can just think of the blood, this, that, you know, all of that stuff. But it was terrible. My, my point is, I don't know how a mother can go. And she even said, well, I took $150,000 out and put a down payment on a house. For her and her new husband. What? I don't understand how a mother can do that. Now, listen, if you don't have any money and the kid needs school clothes or, you know, something like that or sneakers or what have you, I understand that. That's not what I'm saying, you know. Uh, but just to go and it, it, it just to, I mean, Alana only had $33,000. She did Dancing with the Stars, that thing, I forget what the show that's called. Um, that they dress up in a character and it's a singing contest and all of this stuff. And it's like, you took that child's money. She's been the one, if it wasn't for her, she's been the one taking care of you since she was six years old. That show was her name, Honey Boo Boo. And um, I don't know. I just, oh it, oh, it pisses me off. I don't understand it because I know I've been there. I could have went into my son's money. I just never, no, that's his money. One time he needed a computer and he needed it for school and I was struggling and I didn't have it. This was way before YouTube and everything. So I had to, but he went, picked out his computer. Then you bring the receipt, you bring it to the surrogate's office, you fill out the paperwork. Then you wait, the, you go home, the judge will look at it, approve it or not approve it. And that's that. And one thing too, also, I don't know, she said something about a Coogly account. I don't know how that works. It's for child actors and stuff. I do know like when you have money in the bank, because they put it in like a savings thing, uh, it accrues, um, what is it called? I forgot, Where you, interest. And so you make money off of that as well. What do you guys think about that? Don't you think that's messed up? So now that Alana can't even pay off her college, at least put enough to pay off her college where she doesn't have to worry. She worked for that. Oh, there's this place right here. It's called Storybook Land. And usually all the kids, you know, that's where they go on like a field trip, like little, you know, um, preschool, because all my kids started school at the age of three, you know, preschool. And then there was a three-year-old program, a four-year-old program, and then they go to ki kindergarten. So by the time they would go to kindergarten, they knew 
how to write, how to spell their name, their ABCs, their one, two, you know, all of that stuff. You know, they're pretty advanced for kindergarten. Anyway, it, it's a really nice place if you ever come to South Jersey. But we used to go in June where it was so hot. Oh my God, like you, you ever touch something like you're just sticking and the kids are crying and every time I go past there, all three of my kids, I remember they always went in June because in Jersey, they go to school from September to the end of June. They don't start in August. So June, the end of, it's, it's hot, right? And <laughs> they would cry and I'm like, why wouldn't they go in like May? Or like, oh gosh, it just brings back memories every time I pass there. But it, it's, it's really nice. It really, really is something to take your kids to. All right, I'm gonna get off of here only for privacy reasons and all that, you know, because I've learned that people on YouTube, they do Google searches and then they find this stuff out and you know, and docs, and, and docs is, is a, they find like stuff you don't put on the internet, like your legal name, your address, all that type of stuff. So I'm going to get off of here just for safety reasons, um, you know, uh, and I'll be back. Okay. <laughs> Change of plans. I'm actually at my heart doctor. Um, remember I said earlier, oh, I just might wait till Monday. Well, I checked my blood pressure when I got home from taking Lexi, um, to drop her car off. And I'll show you here. So it was high because I, I knew it was going to be high. Start getting those chest pains and down my arms start going numb. And that's what happens. Like I take my medicine, I get it down. And then when I get up, it's like any, it, I'm driving, I'm not doing anything, but it, it, my blood pressure goes back up and I just can't get it to stay down. And I'm taking all the medicine. I'm doubling up. I'm doing everything I'm supposed to do. I, I, I don't know what's going on. I wish they would have did the stress test when I was in the hospital. So he made me come in right away. So he, well, I was going to cancel and reschedule. He was like, no, I need you. Well, he told the nurse that because I said about my blood pressure and they're like, no, I need you to come in. So anyway, um, I'm early. It's 1.38. My appointment's at 2. I'm going to go in there. Hopefully, I can get out early. And um, that is that. Never a dull moment. <laughs> All right. I'll be back. In the hospital, they gave me the medicine. The medicine It went down. And then, like, 11 o'clock at night, you know, I'm just sitting there. It went right back up. And they were like, oh, it's high. I'm like, that's what I've been trying to tell you. It just goes back up. Okay. They did um, an echogram there, yeah. and the one doctor said that he noticed from the last time the blood flow was a little bit slower or something, which caused from high blood pressure. Yeah, yeah. Well, the blood pressure is still high, you know, like 180 over, mm -hmm. you know. See, I, I, I don't know what. It's like not. It's not real high because I'm sitting. Had I been do if I no, walked no, to the it's car, high, it's high. but I, I'm it's saying like not, it's, this is not acceptable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It this goes is, a lot this higher. is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is ridiculous. Okay, we can't live like this. Okay, mm -mm. you can't be free of chest pain. You can't walk in the hot weather. You'll never walk be able to get anything done. Open heart for you is over. You're mm -hmm. never gonna get open heart. Okay. Mm -hmm. As long as you come here, you let me do what I have to do. You're mm -hmm. never gonna get nothing like that. Okay, we have to get you straightened out. Mm -hmm. Now, the but the main thing is, I, I can't take care of it in one visit, so I gotta have you come back again in like a week or two, and then again in a week or two mm -hmm. until I'm settled. Okay, mm -hmm. then we'll get you all straightened out like that. Mm -hmm. This is all like, yeah, you got stuck way behind the eight ball. So we need to dig out. Yeah. Do you think because of that blood flow, like it um, slowing yeah. down and stuff could be like, maybe I don't feel good or? Some of the walls are a little bit thick or whatever. There's a little bit of a leaky valve here and there. But your head is going to think you're having a heart attack every day. Yeah. When you go out there, you're going to be short of breath like a dog. You're going to be sweating like a dog. Mm -hmm. It's going to be brutal. Okay. Mm -hmm. But until I get the numbers right. So is that why, like, I break, I'm breaking out of yeah, sweats yeah, yeah, at yeah, night yeah. and all that? Okay. Big time, big time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but don't worry. That's why I'm going to make you come back in a week. Because mm -hmm. we can't let you live like this. This is worse than, mm -hmm. you know, like an animal, you mm -hmm. know? But listen, I, yeah. I, I, I stopped your mm -hmm. Machopra law. I okay. think you want Lebeda law. Mm -hmm. Okay, the Lebeda law is one tablet three times a day. You know, are you smoking every day? No, I don't smoke. Not at all? I've never smoked. Oh, 
That's yeah, how I don't know. Like, like yeah, I don't said. Start smoking, yeah, no, don't no, no, start no, 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 no. Point. Do you want to know why I never smoked? Let me what? tell you a story real quick. I was 10 years old. I skipped school when I start. I was smoking with my friend Megan Meehan. Well, my mom found out, and she said, oh, you want to smoke? She took a pack of cigarettes and made me smoke one after another, and I was throwing up. Never touched one again. I remember that feeling, and I've never. Nowadays, they call diapers on you, but that taught me a lesson. I never picked up a cigarette. I can still think of that feeling at 10 years old, throwing up smoking. She made you go through a whole pack? Well, not almost a whole pack, but she kept saying, keep smoking. And I was, th she said, keep smoking, and I never smoked again. It taught me a lesson. I Every time I see it, I'm like, oh, God. Oh, well, your mom really knew what she was doing. Uh -huh. Now, people might think that was too harsh, but hey, it never no, made no, me smoke. She's a good mom. That's, mm -hmm. what, that's what works. Mm -hmm. You know, you gotta be you gotta be truthful to the person. And back then, you listened to everything your mother said. You were scared of your mother. That's when yeah. you had fear of God, right? That's when you had real fear. Yeah, you did everything yeah. she said. Nowadays, the police says the kids are gonna call nine one one all the time. You know, you can't do nothing. Yeah, the gentle parents, and yeah. that don't work. That's why kids are the way that they are now. They yeah. weren't when we were. I mean, my, my mother, all she had to do was say, "I had it up to here." You knew that's yeah, enough. That's it. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. it. Yeah, she was good. Yeah. That's the way, uh, unfortunately, we're not going to go back to that anymore because society's real messed up. Yeah, uh, yeah. I agree. We can't live, yeah. They want to regulate your whole life. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. yep. I'll see you in a week. Okay. Okay, I'm back. I'm on my way to get gas. Uh, yes, 20, please. 20 regular? Yeah, please. Thank you. I always get questions and I say it all the time, New Jersey, New Jersey is the only state that you don't pump your own gas. And I always get asked, you're not allowed, for, uh, because I, I don't know why, but I, if even if I wanted to, I couldn't pump my own gas and you're not allowed to tip. They get paid really, really good money. Um, they're not allowed to take tips or anything like that, but because I do get asked a lot. Anywho, so my doctor, he's so nice. I love my heart doctor, my cardiologist, and he's like... I don't know what I play because, like, you know, I edit a lot of the personal information. Thank you so much. You as well. And he's like, how much did that get me? A little over half a tank. Um, he's like, don't even worry. You're not going to have another heart attack. Your LED isn't. Oh, look at the little doggy. Um, sorry, he was hanging out the window. Um, he was like, you're not going to um, have another heart attack. You're not going to have open heart surgery because my mom did at 42. They had to actually break her ribs to get to her heart. Um, he's like, <laughs> think happy thoughts. He was like, it's not blocked anymore. Uh, you're not going to have any more of the blockages. You know, he's just a, such a nice guy. Um, he is, hold on, I have to do this real quick. He's like happy thoughts. So he took me off the one medicine and put me on something else. I stay on everything else, but another blood pressure medicine. Um, he took me off of that, and now I take that three times a day. He was like, if we, you're, everything's going to be fine, which I have my stress test. Like I said, I have it this Monday, April 8th. So, And then I go back next week and all that kind of stuff, you know. Um, if anything is wrong when I take it, we deal with, I would get transferred to Philly. That's who we're associated with, which I always say Philly has the best heart doctors, in my opinion. They really, really do. And where I live in South Jersey, so um, I can get to Philly or Pennsylvania, but Philadelphia, the city, I can get there in about 40 minutes. I can get to Delaware in about 40 minutes. Um, I get to Atlantic City in like 40 minutes. Like, I am right here. Like, I, it's perfect where I live because I can get everywhere. You know, we're called the tri state, right? New Jersey, Philly, and Delaware is a tri state. But anyway, so a lot of times, most people in Jersey go to Philly or um, Camden, New Jersey, which has great, great doctors. It's, it's, it's not, you don't want to live there. I think Camden, New Jersey, C A M D E N, you should look it up. It's one of the, it used to be the top. 10 cities in the whole U.S. of crime. Now I think it kind of lowered a little bit, but it's still bad. Like, you don't want to be there, especially at nighttime. Even me, and I'm like, gun, gun. You know, I'm one of those. Like, I, I'm not scared of nothing. Hence what got me in trouble a lot of times. Um, I wouldn't even do it. Even if I had a, a, two guns. <laughs> you know? Um, but it's they're very good hospitals there. I am on my way to get me some more gummies. I need to stress down. Um, that's where I'm going. And oh, there's a can of Bist. 
Okay, let me take care of this and then I'll be back. Um, I don't know if I want to. I'll be back. I think I just got hit on. Anyway, uh, let me show you what I got. Where are my gummies? This is the same thing that I got last time. This is just like Delta 8 and Delta 9 has a little THC in it. Tomorrow, me and my son, Tyler, we're going to go to another spot that he knows because I know nothing about weed THC. And um, um, I want something to help me sleep. But I, I don't want to smoke nothing. Like, I don't, flowers, you know, the, the weed part, I don't want to do any of that. Um, I want, like, just gummies. I don't want to vape or anything. So, and then the other thing, what is it, Indicus? That's, well, I don't know what it is. And then something to give me energy. But there was a guy in there, and he was like, can I ask you a question? Don't tell me it's going to, it's starting to rain. Oh, my God. I am so sick of the rain. Um, anyway, anywho, he was like, uh... Can I ask you a question? I'm like, sure. Well, when I first went in, the lady that's there, and she knew exactly, she was like, did you come for your gummies? I always get the 10. I don't know why I don't get a big pack, so I always get the small pack that's 10, uh, and it's like only 20 bucks, right, for 10. Anyway, so I was like, yeah, so I, oh, then he comes over, and he goes, can I ask you a question? And I was like, yeah. He was like, are they your, are they contacts? And I'm like, no. He was like, you have beautiful eyes. And I'm like, oh, thank you. Uh, that's so funny. But, you know, and he was talking to me and all that kind of stuff. And But I'm just not ready to even flirt, like, anything like that. Um, you know, I got to get myself together. I can tell you one thing. This lipstick, I have not touched up since this morning. I left the house at, what, 7.30 in the morning. Because we had to be there by, like, 8.30, you know. Because um, they open up at 8, so, you know. And I have not touched up my lipstick at all, at all. And it is 312. This is some good lipstick. I This is a Jeffree Star lipstick, cause like I'm trying to use up my lipstick that I have. I got it in a mystery box. And then on uh, Gerard Cosmetics, I think the shade is called Frost It. Like I put in the middle and then I had a lip gloss on. Of course the lip gloss and everything. But I am shocked. I ate and everything and it's still on. All right, so let me get off of here, and once I get to my next destination, we'll say our goodbyes. I'll be back. System ready. Okay. I just had to go off on those two people right there. I don't know if you're going to be able to see them. I'm coming from, let me turn this off. I am leaving the post office, but I am parked in a handicap. Um, I'm heading to Walmart. Um in the next town over the super walmart so a few things i have to pick up because i don't want to go home i'm literally waiting for my prescription to be ready because i don't want to go home and then come back out once i'm home I'm, i want to be home i mean i've been up since 6 30 this morning anywho so you know i have tenant windows and everything uh but i have a handicap and I also have one of these cards. It's like a register. I don't know what it is, but it also has, you know, a handicap with my name as well. So, like, say, um, I'm driving with somebody, and they, they can use the handicap as long as I'm with them because I don't have handicap uh, license plates. Now, I got it right after my heart attack and different things. I was approved of it. My doctor signed the paperwork and all that. And I think it's good to 2025, and then um, I have to renew it. Because you only get it every few years. Okay. Anywho, you guys know anywhere I go, I never use the handicap park. And I always park far away and I walk. I never, just because I have it, I don't use it. But there are a few exceptions that I do use it. Like today, when I'm, if I do a lot of walking or whatever, I, I, I just don't feel good. Okay. And I need it. That's why I have handicap. So they could, I don't know if they could see the handicap thing or not. I mean, you can see like if a cop or somebody came, you could look and, and then you can see it. But you know, it's hard. You can't see anything on these windows here. So anyway, I get out of the car and of course I don't look handicapped. Uh, uh, what I'm saying is I'm not walking on a cane in a wheelchair and I'm young, you know, so people automatically assume like I'm parking illegally, even though he's parked in front of me in a handicap, it wasn't like there was no handicaps and, um, uh, you know, taking up their spot. Um, and it what he was the driver, but he was with, I don't know if his wife or whatever, and you can see she has trouble walking, but 
there was a handicap for her. She parked. And he says, I hear him. He doesn't say to me, but like these young people use a handicap, say no to blah, 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 and tow the cars. And I look back and I, I, I'm like, because I, I, I'm not feeling good. I said, who, who are you talking about, me? He says, yeah. I said, I have a handicap. Do you see that right there? And then I go in my wall and show him. I said, I have a handicap. I said, you have no idea what my health issue or whatever. Just because, I said, don't judge somebody by its cover. And he said, oh, I'm so sorry. And I said, yeah. I said, well, don't always assume. I was pissed. And then I walked away. And I didn't get smarter cuss at him because I was taught, you know, respect your elders, you know. But it's like, it just pisses me off. Like, I understand if I'm taking handicaps and you don't see a hand, like, it, it, you know, and it's, oh, just, I, and I get it. I understand because a lot of people park in handicaps that don't need it. Today, I need it. Anyway, <laughs> I'm getting cranky. All right, I'm going to get off of here. I'm at a red light. I'm going to Walmart. Um, I just have to get a few things, and then I got to get the hell home and relax. I really probably shouldn't be going to Walmart, but my anxiety is high, and I can't wait at the drugstore. Because <laughs> it's like like an hour, they said it'll be ready. I'm like, oh, my God, because um, I'll be pacing. So I just figured I drive 20 minutes. <laughs> go you know whatever anyway i'm talking too much all right guys please thumbs up this video it really does help me out make sure you leave an emoji emoji does help with engagement even if it's just but that makes sense no let me start over make sure you leave a comment even if it's an emoji because that really does help out with engagement um saturday is my birthday so we're definitely going to go live and celebrate my birthday together i'll find out more when me and lex are going to go to ac that'll be another vlog and then don't forget monday i go for my stress test i don't know if i'll find anything out that day unless they see something you know really bad then i'll know but um i'll be vlogging monday but yeah that's everything guys stay beautiful stay blessed stay healthy and most importantly always stay you and i will see you in my next video Oh my gosh.